tonight on Evening. We're counting down to the royal wedding. And Jim is not here no. because he's over there. He's across the pond in London all week reporting from there and getting us ready for the wedding. In fact, today he has a personal etiquette lesson from Prince Charles' personal butler. Yes. Plus, we will introduce you to the Northwest woman who is using roses and a simple gesture to bring joy to hundreds of people's lives. He broke the internet and now he is gearing up for his own Star Wars movie. Well, he shares the billing a little bit. I talked to the man of the moment, Donald Glover. Welcome to this very fancy edition yes. of our show tonight. Hello. We are coming to you from the Georgian inside the Fairmont Olympic Hotel. This is a place where you can feel like a royal. Yes. And they told us to dress up for you, this show in particular. You so you brought it. I did. You know who brought it? <laughs> our show's producer, Megan Stewart. She made this fascinator. Wow. And actually another fascinator over the weekend. She just went to Joanne Fabrics, I think she said, mm. used a glue gun. So this shows you, you too, if you want to dress up this yeah. weekend, yeah. very simple to I put these things know together. That she was so crafty. Well, now very you do. Impressive. I have a second one that I'm going to switch into okay. later in the show. Something well, we're looking to. forward to that. You know, <laughs> the entire world is looking forward to something. It's happening this weekend. The yeah. royal wedding of Prince Harry and his American princess, Meghan Markle. Indeed. And that's why we will enjoy uh, afternoon tea all yes, evening here I'm very on excited. evening. And, and Jim actually is in London. Our very own Jim yes. found, finds his way across the pond, and he reports all week from London with love. Jim? Hey there. Well, our royal wedding countdown actually begins outside London in the tiny town of Tetbury. This is where Prince Charles lives, along with his wife Camilla and his former butler, a man who knows a thing or two about royal etiquette. Ever been invited to a royal wedding? It's quite a big event. Grant Harold has. And I remember what the atmosphere was like, and it was amazing. As a butler to Prince Charles, he attended the 2005 vows of the prince and his wife, Camilla. His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, and Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cornwall. Grant has even danced with the Queen. I did pinch myself. The reality is they're one of the most famous families in the world. Congratulations from all of us. He says this time around, the eyes of the world will be watching as Charles's son, Prince Harry, weds his American bride, Meghan Markle. She'll have her own unique style, I think, that we saw with previous Raws, like Princess Diana. I think she'll have her own way of doing things. Harry is just the man to help Meghan succeed royally. He's very caring, he's considerate, he's down to earth. He knows how to carry out his royal duties. And yes, I have no doubt that if, if Meghan does need any guidance, she's going to get it from the family, but very much from her husband. The royal butler knows a thing or two about that royal guidance. How do you do? How do you do? He now makes a living training butlers and teaching etiquette to VIP clients from around the world, including this VIP client from Seattle. Too much? A little too much? If you were meeting the Queen and you know, did you when I meet the when Queen? When you meet the Queen, Thank absolutely, you. at the wedding. I'll need to be prepared if, I mean, when I meet royalty face to face. Step one, the neck bow. Beautifully done. If you're a lady, it's a curtsy. You look more like a Boeing 747 I'm, I'm, at the I'm, moment, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Step two, the handshake but only if the royal offers their hand first. And it's two to three pumps. Two, three. Step three, disengage. And then hands to the side. You look That's terrified good. of that. <laughs> if if absolutely... you go to the fourth pump, they take well, you over to well, the Tower of London. And remember, only the royal can initiate a hug. It's like a petting zoo, where if the animal wants to approach you and interact, it's okay, it, but you don't. Is that, well, the royal what, petting zoo, well, if you I will. Well, I always say you can look, but you don't touch. Okay. But Grant says the most important thing to remember about a brush with royalty is to enjoy the moment. I say to people, don't get nervous, don't get stressed about it. Make sure it's a nice experience. Thank you very much, Grant. My Two pleasure. pumps only. You know what's not proper etiquette? Publishing a nasty letter about the bride, but that's exactly what her half-brother, Thomas Markle of Oregon, did. Well, there's a picture of his mugshot, by the way. Classy guy. He wrote to Prince Harry in an open letter and warned him that the marriage would be, quote, the biggest mistake in royal wedding history. No, Tom, you are the biggest mistake in royal wedding history. Boom! 
Oh, burn. Wow. A little bit. Thanks, little Jim. Bit. Wow. Yeah. Jim is going to join us again tomorrow night because he's going to learn how to talk like a royal. Mm, indeed. Yeah, I feel a bad accent coming yeah, out. I do too. <laughs> we'll also meet a royally famous corgi, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. yeah.